Hi, this is Hodor Bino from DevilsDigest.com. Over here with linebacker Lai Mokiola after Friday's practice. And uh, Lai, I know uh, one question a lot of uh, folks are asking: uh, how's, uh, how's your health right now? I know uh, full camp's been kind of rough in that area, but uh, how are you feeling right now with kickoff uh, just over a week away? I'm feeling great. I mean, the team's feeling great. We're feeling confident as each day progresses. Um, we're just trying to attack every day, like the national championships on the line. So um, it's just guys keeping each other accountable day by day, um, making the leaders. Uh, encourage one another and just bring each other up so when game time comes uh, we're not having to think but just react. When you have a game of this caliber week one I mean it's it's very hard not to get excited for it but somebody like yourself that uh, grew, grew up in Texas uh, I, I think this game probably means this a little a little more than uh, other games doesn't it? Oh yeah it's uh it's gonna be a good one I mean I got a family coming to the game so it's gonna be pretty special but at the same time uh, knowing that we have a job in mind and it's a business trip so just trying to keep our minds focused, not not trying to, you know, use that freedom or, or just, you know, see the family, but just trying to stay focused. So if you have any friends that go to a and and stuff like that, if they're trying to engage you in some smack talk, you're just kind of ignoring them right now? Yeah, just not even paying attention to that, just trying to focus on my job and trying to execute it very well, so. Obviously, the talk about the defense this year is so much different than last year with so much experience coming back. Uh, how does that translate to the practice field? I mean, what are you seeing from the defense right now that you haven't seen this time a year ago? Oh, man, we got guys that are playmakers. Um, we got guys that play versatile roles on the defense, guys that are smart, guys that are giving 110 percent, uh, even in special teams. So that's a unique thing that we had this year is just guys are willing to be wherever, you know, whatever position they, they're at and just, you know, immersing themselves into that position and just willing to learn and adapt to that new position. So I think overall we just have a, a defense that is smart, willing to learn, and just explosive playmakers. So, yeah. I mean, as far as your game, what are some of the stuff that you really tried to go to and improve during fall camp? I mean, some points like mechanics, techniques, that you really tried to go ahead and, uh, you know, make better uh, th this time around? Uh, just understanding uh, the grand picture of it all, the scheme and uh, – Understanding what Jordan Simone sees and how that affects me, you know, if he gets one call on the defense and what my assignment changes and just understanding the whole picture. So whenever I understand what they're going through, the stress they're going through and the stress I'm going through. So it, it helps a lot just to understand where you help and where, where everything's at on the defense so, so you can be more comfortable. You probably heard this stat many times before that uh, every game that Lai Mokiola last year did not play or did not finish, ASU lost. Those are the only three losses. I mean, when you hear something like that, I mean, does that even maybe put more pressure on you, um, you know, to go ahead and perform perform well and be healthy? Oh, no. I mean, we got great players. I mean, my job was easy last year because I had a guy named Marcus Hardison <laughs> and Demarius Randall, two guys that got drafted, you know, in the first four rounds. So, I mean, give credit to those guys. They, they did a great job. Um, I'm just a guy that's trying to do my part, my 1-11th and trying to get the teammates doing the same. So I think we got great leaders. We got, got, got great guys coming back and uh, looking forward to a great year. Let's talk about another Marcus, Marcus Ball. Uh, you know, your backup that uh, obviously got a, a lot of run in uh, full camp. Uh, what, what do you see different than Marcus Ball uh, compared to last? Man, it's so much improvement. That guy is willing to learn, um, always asking questions. He's like a sponge, you know, just trying to receive anything that he can. And he's doing a great job, I mean, learning the scheme. It was so tough, you know, he got thrown into it so quick, but he's adapting very well. And I think that's, it shows great improvement in what he's been from, from spring ball. So let's talk about the A&M offense. Uh, you know, even though they're playing in the SEC, the offense probably reminds you of a lot of Pac-12 teams you played the last couple of years. I mean, what, what do you see some of them on film that you could go in and relate to as far as the Pac-12 opponent you played in the last couple of years? Oh, uh, they, they're a great team. I mean, they got a, they got a great skill players. They got a great uh, offense, but our main focus is just on us. I mean, not trying to do too much and just controlling what we can control, and that's our attitude and effort each day and how we bring it to practice and just, you know, uh, minimizing our mistakes on defense and trying to focus on what we can do to, to win this game. So, Lyle, thank you very much. And for Lyle Mokiel, this is Hodor Bino reporting for Devil's Digest.